First question. There are 317 guests at a banquet seated in eight different sections. By rounding the number of guests to the nearest 10, how many guests uh, find out about how many guests are in each section? So we have the rounding part. It says rounding the number of guests to, to the nearest 10. Okay, so we know we have to round the, the number of guests. But aside from that, we have 317 guests and we have eight different sections. What it's asking us is how many people are in each section. So that's clearly a division problem because you're taking a total number of people and you're trying to figure out how many will fit into eight different groups, eight different sections. So that's a division problem. How many will we fit in each room? That's dividing the total number up. But we don't want to divide 317. It tells us in the beginning to find out about how many by taking and rounding to the nearest 10. So this is the ones place and this is the tens place. So if I were going to round up to the nearest 10, then I would have a choice of either 320 or if I round down to the nearest 10, it will be 310. So I stay where I'm at, 310, or I go up to the next 10, which is 320. Now, how do I figure out? Well, I look at the next digit. This is a seven. Anything five or greater means I'm going to round up. So actually, I'm going to use this number to round. So this is going to be, in other words, 317 is closer to this one than it is to this one. So we're going to use 317, I'm sorry, 320 guests, even though we know that's not the right number of guests, we're rounding to make an estimate of what's going on. So what we will do is take the 320 guests and we will divide by the eight rooms, the eight banquet halls that we have. How many will go in each? Eight times what is 32? Eight times four is 32. Subtract, get a zero, and drag the next zero down. And then eight times what is zero? The only thing that works is zero. Multiply, get a zero, subtract, get a remainder of zero. No more digits. So what we have learned is that it's about about what? 40 is the answer we got. We took the number of people divided by eight rooms, about 40, uh, guessed uh, per section or per room, whatever you want to call it. So now again, this word about means this is not an exact answer. If we needed an exact answer, we would take this and divide by eight. The problem tells us to estimate or round to get, a, to get an estimate of what the answer is. So we rounded this up to 320, even though we knew that wasn't right, but that often helps us get and, and make the division part easier. So we know the answer is not exactly 40, but it's a really good estimate of how many people are gonna be in each section. All right, problem number two, it says a radio channel airs 152 commercials each day and each is 20 seconds long. Find approximately how many seconds of radio time is dedicated to commercials each day by first rounding the number of commercials aired to the tens place. All right, so a lot of words, but what's it basically saying? It's saying uh, we have 152 commercials per day and each one is 20 seconds long. That's clearly a multiplication problem because if, if, if every commercial was one second long and I had 152 commercials, it'd be 152 seconds if every commercial was one second, but every commercial is 20 seconds. So I multiply by 20. But before I even do that, it tells me to round to get an estimate. So 152, if I round up, this is the tens place, it will go up to 100 and what? 60, or it'll stay down at 150. What, what am I going to choose? I look next door, this is less than five, so I'm going to choose this even though we know that we don't have this many commercials exactly, this is the estimate because we're just trying to get an approximate answer here. All right, so we take 150, even though we know it's not quite right, it's an estimate, commercials, and we have 20 seconds a piece, so we're gonna multiply times 20. Let's take a look at how to do this. Start with the zero. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times five is zero. Zero times one is zero. Drop a zero. Two times zero is zero. Two times five is 10. That's a zero, carry a one. Two times one, one is two, one more is three. And then I add, and you can see I'm just gonna get 3,000 seconds. And I'll put the word about. Why do I have to use the word about? Uh, uh, because I do not have exactly 150 commercials. That was rounding to get an estimate. Really, I have this many. If I wanted to know the exact amount, I would take this and multiply by 20. But this is a really good estimate of how many seconds of commercials. Uh, and so that's why we're doing the rounding in that problem. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. It says, Becca has 348 inches of ribbon and wants to make bows that each use 12 inches of ribbon. How many bows can she make? 
Is this multiplication or is it division? Well, it's clearly division because I have a large number of inches of ribbon and I know that each one takes 12 inches. How many can I make? Well, I'm gonna see how many times 12 can fit in there because every time I can cut 12 inches off, then I have a new ribbon. So how many times can 12 fit in there will be the number of ribbons that I can, uh, or how many bows I can make. So I have a total of 348 inches of ribbon and I'm gonna divide it into segments that are 12 inches long. How many segments can I make? Well, I'm gonna divide. See how many times can this go into here? Well, I know that 12 times one is 12 and 12 times two is 24. 12 times three is 36. That's too big. It has to be 12 times two for 24. Subtract. Four minus four is zero, three minus two is one. I've done the subtraction, now drag, and I get an eight down here. Now, 12 times uh, eight is 96. 12 times nine is, you know, maybe you're not sure, let's do 12 times nine. Nine times two is 18, carry the one. Nine times one is nine, one more is 10, is exactly 108. So 12 times nine is 108 subtract, get a remainder of zero. So the answer to the division problem, when I take 348 inches of ribbon and try to see how many segments of 12 inches long I have, 29 ribbons, 20, or 29 bows. I can make that many because I have 29 segments that are this long. That's really what I'm doing here. All right, only two more. Let's take a look at problem number four. It says Jeremy is putting paving stones on a sidewalk. If the sidewalk is 14 meters long and he needs six pavers for each meter, how many pavers will he need? This is a multiplication because you have 14 meters total. Think about it. If you had 14 meters, right, and each meter only needed one pave stone, if the problem were different, if every meter only needed one stone, then it would be 14 meters. That would be, or 14 um, paving stones. That would be all you would need. But every meter takes more than one. It takes six. So I'm gonna have to take the 14 and multiply by six to get the total number of paving stones that I need. So I have 14 meters and I have six paving stones. And so uh, six paving stones per meter, right? So again, for every meter, I need six. So then I'm gonna multiply by six to get the total amount. So then six times four, 24, carry the two. Six times one is six, two more is eight. And so the answer is 84 paved stones. 84 paved st stones all together. All right, we have one more problem. It says a new video game has 91 levels. If DeAndre can finish seven levels every week, how many weeks will it take him to finish all the levels? Is this multiplication or is it division? Well, it's division. How do you know? Because you're given that it's 91 levels and you're doing seven levels every week. So what you're really asking yourself is how many groups of seven, because every week is, is seven levels, how many groupings of seven um, uh, can I fit into 91 levels? Because that many group is gonna be that many weeks because I'm doing seven levels every single week. So I wanna take the total amount of levels, which is 91, and I wanna divide it by seven levels because it's seven levels every week. So however many times this goes into it, that's gonna be how many weeks. So we try to divide. Seven times what is nine? The closest I can get is one. Seven times one is seven, subtract, and I get a two. And then I drop down, now I have 21. Seven times what is 21? Three. Seven times three, 21. Subtract, remainder, zero. So what does it mean? 13 weeks, 13 weeks. If you wanted to check yourself, of course, you could take 13 and multiply by seven. We can just do it here if you want, 13 times seven. If it really is 13 weeks and it's seven levels every week, then seven times three is 21, seven times one is seven, and then eight, nine. So if it was 13 weeks, which is what we said, and seven levels every week, then we multiply, we get 91 uh, total levels, which is exactly what we had in the problem statement to begin with. So here we have conquered multiplication and division word problems. We are just getting practice kind of like using these skills mostly to read and understand when a problem is multiplication and when is division. Usually when it's division, there's a large amount of something and you're trying to see how many of something can fit into it. That's usually division. And then multiplication, we've given lots of examples of as well. I'd like you to solve all of these yourself. Follow me on to part two. We'll get a little more practice with multiplying and dividing word problems. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.